Welcome to a video entitled WinRM. Now, WinRM stands for Windows Remote Management. And this really is a functionality that's built into Windows Server 2012 that enables an administrator to run a command, but he can run the command remotely on a target server. So he can open up an environment, type a command in, execute that command line, and what's going to happen is that command will actually be pushed to that target remote server. It will do its business, whatever that is, and then the output or the result of that command gets piped or sent back to the local server where you're sitting, where you executed the command, and you see the results of the command. Now, that's some really neat functionality, but what about security here? Administrators get really, really antsy when they see this kind of thing happen because the first thing they think is, well, wait a minute. If anybody penetrates our network and they connect to one of our servers with any kind of rights, if we've got this kind of stuff turned on, then they can go anywhere. And that's certainly true. And security is an issue here. When RM requires authentication to the other servers, and it also encrypts the network traffic in both directions. So just keep that in mind. Now, in most installations of Windows Server 2012, WinRM is functional by default. However, you're going to run across those times where WinRM has to be configured to allow remote management of the target server, and you've got other things to be considered, like Windows firewall settings, uh, allowing WinRM to uh, pass inbound traffic, and those sorts of things. Now, there is a quick configuration tool for WinRM. Now, while they say that it's functional by default in most instances, every time I've tried to use this, I have to run this quick configuration tool on a machine to actually get it to work. So here's what you're going to do. You'll open the run bar or a command prompt. Now, let me real quickly here kind of wander off topic. And I want to jump out to the start screen and show you. If you don't see, for example, the run bar, or if you don't see command prompt on your start screen, how do I get command prompt? If I just type CMD, it will automatically search that out and give it to me. Okay, so that's all I have to do there to make that happen. If I want my run bar from the start menu, I haven't clicked on anything, I haven't done anything, just type RUN, and you will see that will take you uh, to the run bar right down here. So it's really neat the way that works in this Windows Server 2012, Windows 8 type environment on the start screen. So anyway, I want to get a run bar or a command prompt up, and that will type WinRM space quick config. And then I'll execute that command, and whatever it comes back and tells me, then I am just going to say yes. You can read that. It talks about target servers and all sorts of things. The bottom line is answer yes when it gives you a question. Make these changes and that will configure WinRM. Now the final step, and sometimes you'll need to do this and sometimes you won't, you may have to go to the target server, launch the PowerShell window, and type enable hyphen PS remoting space, make sure you put that space in there, hyphen force, and this will configure the computer to receive Windows PowerShell remote commands that are sent using the uh, WS management technology. So you may have to do this, you may not. If you run this and you didn't need to, it will just simply tell you that it's already enabled and there's not a whole lot to worry about. Now let's talk about why you would do this and why WinRM is such a neat feature. Well, let's say that you're an administrator and as an administrator, you want to run IP config on multiple servers and verify their IP addresses for whatever's going on. Well, you got one option. And that is to log on to each server using remote desktop and run the IP config command. Or you, maybe there's an option 1A here, and that is to physically go to every one of those servers and run IP config. Or notice option 2. You could just execute a WinRM command from uh, your own command prompt. And notice it's going to look something like this. Win RS space hyphen R, and then you can see the rest of it. You will put the server name right here, 
the target server name that you're trying to run this command on. Put a space and then pass your command just like always, and then you will see the results show up in your command windows. Really neat functionality. I want to stress to you, play with setting WinRM up. Play with getting it working. You always have to jiggle a few more wires than you think. And then run a couple of these commands. Get real comfortable with it. You will see WinRM mentioned on the exam, and you will use it in the real world, and it's fantastic.